how to use Canva to create stellar visual content. Now Canva is a free web-based tool that allows you to create infographics, Facebook covers, profile pictures, blog post infographics, presentations, PowerPoints, postcards. It covers the gamut. Before you start, be really clear about the goals. What are your goals for your organizations? Why are you using visual content to begin with? right? And get more specific about that. And then have an idea of a story in mind. These are the types of updates. So this is the type of visual content we want to be publishing, but this is the story or the stories that we want to be telling and engaging people around. And then number three, be prepared to be part of the discussions that happen on those visual content pieces. So what can you make? Facebook covers, social media content, postcards and posters, lots of stuff. So let's just jump in and look at Canva. This is Canva. Again, it costs nothing to join. You can basically use all of their tools to create these uh, different types of content, visual content that you would need from a Facebook app, Facebook posts and ads, invitations, business cards, photo collage, a document, a regular old document, a Twitter header, Pinterest updates, Kindle cover, a blog graphic, Facebook cover, posters, presentations, and social media and Google+. Right. So there's a lot of options here. And all you have to do is just choose where you want to start. So for example, Facebook cover, you just click on Facebook cover, you're re redirected to a new tab, and then you have this visual content creation engine that essentially opens up, okay? And all you have to do is look at, this is the steps right here, layout, text, background, and then any the images that you wanna upload, okay? So you just follow these steps, create your layout, add text, add a background, upload your content, or add any visual content that you have uploaded, okay? So we'll go through each one of these. So let's just say that we, we scroll through this and we say, uh, well, what template are we looking for and which one has about 90% of what we need to see in a Facebook cover? Well, this one looks visually kind of close to what we're trying to get at because of whatever reason, okay? Then what we can do is we can actually edit the text right here, okay? Or we can, uh, you know, get rid of this element altogether. Say we just don't really like this piece right here. We're just going to delete it altogether. And then we'll go to our text area, right? That's the next step in the process. And we can add something that we think might look a little cooler. We can resize it and we can say, um, I'm going to call this the palm tree party. We're calling it our palm tree party, whatever that means. And then we can add backgrounds. We're not going to add a background in this case because there's an image that's included in this template. If we have any other visual content, if we want to add that on top of it, we can as well. If we just click on any of these images, we can kind of resize it and move it around. And, uh, you know, we can do something like this. This isn't, you know, you know, who knows? Who knows? We could go with that. I don't know. Okay. And then we can move this over. Let's say it, this is a, an organization that has something to do with palm trees and dogs who use computers. I don't know. All right. Uh, but, but I'm just kind of demonstrating the, the tool for you. So, uh, and then, uh, so I'm just going to get rid of this because it really doesn't make any sense. Uh, but that's, those are uploads. Again, background, text, you can add a whole bunch of different elements here. And when you do go for uh, images though, so uh, basically they're going to suggest images f to you. Okay. So if you want to search for, let's say palm tree. Okay. Right? You can find other images and some of them are free, right? But a lot of these are, a lot of the really good quality images are a dollar, okay? So this is where Canva is making their money. So you're using the tool and you're using a lot of free elements to create some pretty cool Facebook covers. And then if you want really good high quality images or graphics or even certain text elements, so you'll notice that a lot of these are free, but if we scroll down a bit, we start getting to, into more of the premium stuff. Okay, you gotta pay for a dollar. This is a text element. We can simply add this and we can add our own text in this field right here. 
And then what you do is you simply, when you're ready to publish whatever type of content that you've created in the visual editor, all you do is click on uh, link and publish. A new window opens up and then you just either select image or PDF. Okay. And then you have a few other options down here that you can explore on your own. But that's basically it. And then when you're, you know, every single project that you create, you save it automatically on the home page, on your home page. Now, the public doesn't see this. So, and if I don't like this, I can just simply remove this, this uh, element. And that's it. Okay, so that's Canva. I'm just gonna jump back into the last slide in the presentation. Just one quick thought to leave you with. Before you get caught up in Canva and getting sucked into using the tool, because it is pretty cool. You'll get really into it and, and get distracted possibly. So here are four ideas you might wanna think about when developing your visual content strategy. Number one, search trends. So use tools like BuzzSumo and Facebook to discover trending topics that are related to your cause. Number two, you can search layouts in Canva. So you can look at different layouts and see what other people are creating. Number three, you want to create a few different variations of your visual content idea and then uh, measure it, number four, okay? That way you'll learn about what your people like. So the more that you vary your content slightly and do sort of a simple A-B testing of your content, the more accurate you'll be able to hit the target in the future in terms of engaging your fans. So that's how to use Canva, both from a tactical perspective, you know, actually use the tool, but also recommendations around strategy for using visual content. Talk to you soon. Bye.